Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Anarchy Online. It's been a while since I recorded the last episode, uh, so I had to check a video quickly uh, to make sure where we had left off. Um, I did play a little bit in the intervening time, but nothing too significant. Um, so in the last episode, uh, we had ended, there was just a bit of a client crash, but we were just kind of wrapping things up. Um, so let me bring you up to speed. Um, I guess, uh, I think we've gained a few levels since the last episode. We're now level 38. Um, I've got a bit of a cold, by the way. Sorry, uh, my voice is probably going to sound a bit more nasally than, than it usually does. Um, we've wrapped up all the missions that we had, um, which involved a few missions probably in Temple of Three Winds. Also, I wrapped up that daily missions out in the Wailing Wastes and, and all that. Um, we're up to date on our alien levels, uh, so we don't need to do any more of those. Um, and I think I had been planning to go to the Shadowlands and show you guys some stuff there. Uh, I've got a lot of things lined up. Now, what are we doing in Old Athens? Um, this is the market, um, which allows you to... It's like an auction house for this game. Now, many a long time ago, uh, in a galaxy far, far away, no, a long time ago, I had actually put an item for sale up on the market um early on remember we had run a lot of missions for a lot of these weapons that are very popular because they allow you to buff easily and one such weapon is a called a secondhand old english uh something something pistol and it is a pistol that buffs intelligence by five and of course you can wear two of them so they're very popular um let me see if I can show them to you here. So, uh, weapons, I just go, oh, second hand. I don't think there's any punctuation. Yeah, there. So, currently on the market, oh, there are actually not a lot of them. Uh, so, currently on the market, a quality level one will set you back five million. A quality level five will set you back two and a half million. So the higher quality level, the cheaper it is because it's harder to equip and people are willing to pay a lot for the lowest quality levels because then a very low character, a very low level character can use it. So if you want to have like a very low level twink, then you just want a really low, um, you know, you want to be able to just equip it. So I still have, I have two of them that I've just kept. Um, but I got a third one while just rolling missions. It was like level, I don't know, 14 or 20 or something like that. So it was pretty low level, still good enough. Um, at the time, I put it on the market for a million credits. There were many other pistols, and so I just wanted to get the money quickly. And actually, it sold eventually. Um, so the way it works with the market is you have to put the... There's like a separate inventory market, and you need to put the pistol on the market and in fact it costs a bit of money to list an item for sale and I remember it cost like 5,000 and at the time 5,000 credits was like half of the money that I had but now I count balance 970,000 credits so there's a bit of tax that's taken off the sale so we are going to withdraw I mean I guess we'll keep the numpad doesn't seem to work. I guess I'll keep 20,000 in there so that it's easy if I want to, um, to, uh, you know, post any, any other items. Um, okay. So eventually soon we will get an in-game mail with that amount of money. So that is fantastic news because now I can finally afford to buy some things. Um, Really, what I'm what I'm excited about is that this will allow us to basically buy the nanos that we need without always having to run missions for them. Uh, so that's really fantastic because we have a lot of false professions that you know we could become much more powerful if we were using all the abilities at our disposal. Now the other thing is implants. Uh, oh, we don't. Have, oh, right, right, right. I was sorry. I was like, why don't I have anything in my right arm? But I remembered why. Uh, so the other thing is implants. We have really cheap uh, quality level 30 implants. We could definitely equip higher level implants. So what I'm trying to decide is do I go for level 75 ones or level 100 ones? So that's something that I want to check out quickly uh, this episode. In fact, we could probably make our way 
there now. Um, another thing I just want to take a quick look at uh, vehicle. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's something I want to check. Okay, there's a few things that I do want to do while I'm in Old Athens. Uh, first of all, I am going to go and pick up a new round of missions. I won't do this one probably on camera, but I'll definitely get another daily mission for clearing out the Temple of Three Winds, because that just gives a lot of, uh, a lot of experience, and why not? Um, how are we doing on research? I think we're done. Yeah, that's the other thing, is we finished all the research. So that's why we're, we're kind of streaming through all the levels right now. Now that I have the money, I'm less worried about gaining a lot of experience quickly because I will be able to afford the nanos. This is the alien guy. I don't need to talk to him. I'm going to be able to afford to buy the nanos as I level up. Before, I was worried that I'd just end up... I'd have a high level, but I wouldn't have any of the equipment, which is to say the nanos that I would need. Um... All right, please give me a mission to Temple Three Winds. Good. Um, let's also grab just the regular daily mission, because why not? Uh, I think I've emptied my bags and everything. Yeah, we're, we're ready to go here. Um, so, yeah, after this, I want to make a stop in ICC. Applying for a job, straightforward. Let's see what we got. Oh, Cyborg Infiltration. Uh, this one's an interesting one. Uh, maybe we'll get around to doing that. Uh, you got all these... You got like a, You gotta go to a, uh, the Cyborgs, which is... Actually, the Cyborgs is a, a good place if you're... If you have like a free-to-play account. Um, so it's... Because it's just Rubica content. Um, I forget the level range. But it's not a bad place to go... To go, you know, just to kill mobs for experience and, and loot. Um, it's sort of uh, in the general vicinity of the Temple of Three Winds. It's sort of near near Tyr. Um, anyways, this mission there involves us disguising ourselves as a cyborg so that they don't kill us, which is important because they're like red and they would, you know, they're much higher level and they would totally murder you. Um, and then you have to go like, I don't know, find an item or something like that. Um, but it does involve a like, you have to run all the way out there. It's a little far. I remember that we have our bird form, so that's good. Aha! We have our money already. So actually, let's pick that up right now. Um, am I currently false profession anything? No. Okay, a bit more rubber banding. Uh, okay, let me quickly pick up my money here. And then I wanted to go to the shop just to take a quick look at the implants. Just so I can plan out roughly when I'm going to make that upgrade. Um, the thing is, implants are going to set me back. So I'm not necessarily determined to... Um, credit delivery. Take all the credits. Nice. One million and 160,000 credits. We're rich, guys. Uh, not really. A lot of, you know, items can cost the billions in the in-game economy here, so it's not that much money. But for a low-level character, yes, it's a ton of money. Um, oh, also, so I was playing actually on another character, um, and I found uh, an interesting rifle that was from the Shadowlands. Um, so one thing I do want to do is I want to go to the Shadowlands. Now, the Shadowlands, right now we don't really need to do... There's actually a good place to farm there. Later on, the thing about the Shadowlands is the mobs there have really high armor. And so a lot of weapons that are good or okay in Rubica are not actually very good in the Shadowlands. Uh, you need to have either alien weapons or Shadowlands weapons um, to be very effective there. So, um, anyways, just thought... So I'm thinking about using that weapon on this character, but then again, I kind of said I wouldn't do that. Um, all right, let's take a look. So, oh, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought the quality level 75 ones were 120,000. So these implants are, let's say, let's see, quality level 75 implants are about 70,000 each, and they take 150 in the in the main stat which is totally doable 
even for intelligence or psychic, there are buffs that buff 20 easily. Plus, remember, we've got those pistols. We can buff this easily. So I could do that, like, right now. Um, or we go for level 100. But those, I mean, for some it would be doable. Uh, maybe I'd have to set up like temporary implants to buff things, which I'm not really interested in doing, uh, because we're just going to level quickly. Um, what I'm tempted to do is to maybe, what are the, if I like the, this eye implant, I should totally upgrade because it's got everything I want, right? It's got the nano skills rifles. Let's pick right now. Let's pick a few implants that we, we could definitely benefit from. So eyes, for sure. Um, head is buffing SI and ranged in it. That's not terrible. More SI, BM. Where's the other rifle? Uh, rifle and run speed. Yeah, but it'll be cheaper though, maybe. Rifle slingshot. Yeah, man, these agent... These agent nanos are a bit wonky like I don't know hmm I mean they're kind of the skills that I want are spread out all over the place um well I definitely we're going to upgrade the eye implant right away in fact let's see our agility is 166 oh, what do I have that buffs agility uh so feline grace buffs agility uh but what do I have here Actually, I don't know if I can cast Feeling Grace. All right. I've got... Uh, oh, I've got the Super Agility Buffing Gun. Right? Uh, not this one. Uh, I've got the Gripplecom, right? Okay, so we can get 15 Agility. And I, th actually, I actually think I have the Nano... The Feeling Grace Nano. Do I not? I guess I don't. Okay, I think Feline Grace is 25. Let's see what Helpbot says. Yeah, plus 25, plus my rifle gives me uh, 15, so that's a 40 point buff to agility. So I would be at 206, which is enough to equip the level 100. Um, implant now let's double check treatment my treatment right now well if i max it which should be max is 207 um with 207 let's actually i forget how much how much that implant is going to take let's see 200 and what was over here it's going to take 479. Uh, can I do that? So I would be at 207. Then I can buff with uh, the suit. Jeez, it's been a while. I haven't since. It's actually been a long time since I've done it. I think the suit is 70. So that would give it. And then I'd still be short 200 treatment. I get 100 from the clinic. And you can get SFA from a doctor. Just a moment. Sorry about that. I'll, I'll see if I can edit that out, but I might be too lazy. And <laughs> maybe I won't. Uh, okay, so we were counting treatment as superior first aid. Um, this is not, that's actually not what I, well, this, this got me the information. I, I shouldn't be doing item. I should be doing nano. There's a command for nano. Okay. Treatment by 80 plus there's a common buff for 20. I think, oh no, I'm already running that one. 20. Jeez. We're really close. Um, we're really close to being able to do that. Um, okay, 
So I think what I'm gonna do is, now that I know I can do it, I'm go I might upgrade a few of these implants off screen. Um, especially the agility ones, because I can get it to 200 and something very easily. And if there, if there happen to be any sense ones, then I would do those also. Um, because they're, my agility and sense are high, there are easy buffs for that, but especially the agility ones. Um, so agility will be no problem. Like I said, the rifle and feline grace, which is the agent buff. And then treatment, I'm pretty sure I can get it up to 479 or be very close. So I'm going to do that off screen. So that's what I wanted to double check. Now, let's go shopping for nanos and spend some of that money. So first of all, uh, okay, first of all, what I need to do is open on this other screen here, the agent nanos. And, a, oh, did I not? Oh, I rubber banded out. And, agent. Okay. Uh, so let's bring this up. Let's bring this up. Okay. Uh, if you have money, one of the easy ways to do this is just like pick a price point and buy everything that's cheaper than it. And then you'll basically just gradually get all the nanos that that you need, right, for your profession. Um, but we're going to be a little more selective about it. So anatomy lesson we have already. Um, okay, I'm looking through the roots and stuff. I'm still not like, I still don't feel we absolutely need them. Um, can I get this? I, I don't think I can, but I want to double check. There's a, something called Waves of Anger, but it is a, like a special nano. I don't think I can buy it in the shop. So I'm double checking that. Yeah, correct. That's a Shadowlands thing. I, I have to double check where I get it. I forget. Um, okay. Uh, Feline Grace, for some reason, I don't... I really thought that I had found that nano somewhere. I guess maybe I rolled a mission with it, but didn't end up taking it. I don't know why. That memory is kind of sticking out. Uh, okay, so, well, let's... That's why we got all the money. We can spend it now. Uh, Feline Grace will be... These are all the false professions. MP. Feline Grace, 50,000. 